Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Draw It and Know It. This is our art lesson edition and today we're going to do something really special. We're going to do a step-by-step -step how to draw a baby T-Rex. Okay, so let's get going. For today's drawing, for those of you that would like to draw along with me, and I hope that many of you do, we're just going to use a regular number two pencil and I'm, I'm going to use a uh, marker. This is a, happens to be a, um, a chisel tip marker, so I'm going to get some thicker and thin lines out of it. But um, you pick one of your favorite markers, just one that you feel comfortable with that makes a good line. All right, so we're going to start with our light pencil sketch, sketch stage. So um, with this stage, don't draw so hard, but uh, draw lighter with, uh, with the pencil lines that you're going to make. We're going to start out with a, a little circle right here, kind of um, in the middle, the center of your page, but below the halfway point. Okay, so do that circle about that same size on your page. Just try to fit it in there the best you can on, on that location. And then we're going to do a second circle about the same size. And it's going to be kind of setting off to the side of the top of that other circle and they just touch right there. Okay, so that is the body and the beginning of the head for our baby T-Rex. Now I'm gonna be stopping a little bit after I draw each little section and so um, maybe if you want you can, um, you can stop the video, do the part of the drawing that you need to do. I just attached the circles there with um, two lines to indicate where the neck is gonna be. All right, and then where that neckline and that top circle meet, draw a, a horizontal line out about that far. Just do your best guess. And then uh, for the top of the T-Rex, the um, that line's not quite so horizontal. It's tilted down a little bit. Then draw a dot right about there. We're going to get a feel for where the, the bottom jaw and the uh, the upper jaw meet. And then this line is kind of the front of the, the mouth and part where the nose is going to be. All right, once we've got that established, now we're going to go to the back end of the T-Rex. The we're going to draw two little dots there. Those are going to be important when we, uh, when we draw the tail in. But right in the middle of those two dots, I want you to draw a line out. And this is kind of like... The, uh, the backbone or the tailbone of the T-Rex. And we're gonna be using that as a guide for building our tail later on. All right, now we're gonna work on the, uh, the hind leg, the big back leg of the T-Rex. And so I want you to draw a circle. And this circle is indicating where that leg attaches to the T-Rex, all right? It's gonna give us a, a good idea of how that leg fits in. So right through the middle of that leg, we're gonna draw kind of the, the leg bone, but we're just gonna draw a light line, okay? Then at the end of that line where it touches at the bottom of the circle for the body, we're gonna draw a line that goes to the left, and then we're gonna draw a line that goes straight down just a little bit, okay? So that's one leg of the T-Rex. And now we're gonna draw a couple more dots, and that's gonna be the, the width of the other leg, okay? And then right in the middle of that, we're gonna draw another sort of a bone uh, indicator line. And then that one doesn't come out so far. And then we're gonna draw another line that almost goes straight down and that's the, uh, the other leg. And you'll see how that works as we flesh things out in a little bit. Okay, now T-Rex had little dinky arms and so that's where one arm attaches. Um, and so that's about as thick as it's gonna be. And then we're gonna draw a little bone line for that one too. And then we're gonna draw another upper arm line for that one, okay? And then over here on the, uh, on the front of the body circle, we're gonna draw another little line for where the uh, other arm is on the other side of the body. Now we're gonna draw a little, two little indicator lines for the claws. Now there's only two claws on a T-Rex. All right. If you see someone drawing a T-Rex and it has three claws on it, either that's not a T-Rex or the artist doesn't know what they're doing. T-Rex only had two claws on each arm. All right, so now we're gonna establish the mouth 
and uh, right where those two little lines met in the front of the uh, of the face where the bottom jaw and the uh, the nose met we're gonna draw a horizontal line and then it curves up and then we're gonna draw a little like almost kind of a cheek line now this is a cartoon so we're gonna make them look a little friendly then draw a horizontal line with the bottom of the eye and now we're gonna finish off the curve of the eye we're gonna give the starting and finishing points now we're gonna go up and around and there's the eye for the T-Rex. Now a baby T-Rex has bigger eyes. Most young animals have larger eyes and then as they grow to be an adult, they grow into their eyes, so to speak. So, And here's the pupil for the eye, so draw, draw that in there. And I want you to make it so that the T-Rex is looking down a little bit and then draw that another, another circle in there for the reflection. Uh, when we fill that in, that's gonna remain white, okay? And then right about there, we're gonna get the eyebrow, the T-Rex had kind of a eyebrow type of thing, a structure on top of their eyes. And so that one goes just above the headline and ends right there. And we're gonna put two little fancy dots or bumps on there, kind of indicating more of a reptile feel. Okay, and then in the back here, we're gonna draw sort of where the, the ear might have been. I like to draw like a little structure on that part of the head and then I'll draw a number six indicating where the um, that might be like an ear hole for the uh, for the T-Rex okay and then go straight out from where the eye is put a little indicator there and that's the bottom of the nostril and so now we draw kind of a, a droopy D a small D <laughs> um, and then the top of the nostril and then another little kind of reptile fleshy flare there. Um, all right, now we're gonna go back and we're gonna finish the tail. We're gonna flesh out the tail. So we're gonna start wide and then the tail ends thin. Okay, so see how that line starts far from that middle bone, that middle line bone, and then it, uh, it kind of gradually gets closer and closer to it. And by the time it comes to the end, it's very thin. All right, and then now we're gonna do the, the, the same thing, kind of thing with the leg, where you've got that middle line that I said was kind of the bone, and uh, the leg's gonna be thinner down where it bends there. So we start thicker, and then we end up a little thinner, okay? So here we go, we're gonna draw that line, kind of a curve around, sort of following that bone shape, sort of, but curve it around and then make it closer to each other on that part of the leg. And then we're gonna draw a couple lines down that's heading towards the foot. Now we're gonna do the same thing for the other leg, except there's not as much of this leg showing. So we'll curve this line down, and again, it's closer to the, uh, to the bone line than when it started. Okay, and now we're gonna draw a little more of the foot. So there's, uh, or the ankle, I guess you could say. So we got a couple little lines there for the ankle. And now this foot is kind of taking a step and so he's not touching the ground. So there's the first toe. And you draw the second toe in right behind it. <clears throat> and then number three toe. All right, and now we're gonna go over to the other foot and we're gonna do Kind of a similar thing, except these toes are bent a little bit. So we start with the first toe there. Then we establish the next toe right there. And if you're good at drawing one toe, then you can get all three of them because they're kind of the same shape. All right. And uh, some of these lines here are more finished. And so this is really our step two where we're drawing the darker pencil lines. Uh, these are gonna be more of what the finished drawing looks like. And so you can draw these lines just a little bit darker if you want to. All right. And our claws, again, how many claws? Two claws. 
and then do the same thing for the, the for the other arm except there's not as much arm showing because it's behind the body there's the upper arm and then the forearm and then you use those two little lines for the claws as kind of a guide to where the other the the finished lines for the claws go then i like to put like a little kind of a six or a g shape in where the knees are that uh, kind of give like a little indication of knee <laughs> a little decoration there now we're gonna draw some teeth in and you can draw as many teeth as you want if you want this guy or girl whatever uh t-rex you want to make it um you can draw more or less teeth you can draw bigger teeth or a little smaller teeth if you want maybe sharper or less sharp i'll leave that up to you and so now that we've got our our, our pencil lines pretty well finished we're going to start step number three which is our inks and um, i'm going to pick right there at that eye the back of the head near the eyebrow to uh to start inking in and then we're going to do under the neck and pay attention to where i start now i'm going to start this line up further and give it more of a jaw line there and then some of the lines i'm not following exactly the same as i drew them uh, like the uh, the upper eyebrow there got more of a curve and then there's kind of a more of a curve to this too so I'm kind of close if you don't get right on your pencil lines don't worry about it just do your best and even the mouth line here I want to make it a little more curvy than I did when I drew the pencil line in so feel free to do that too and then we're going to draw in the teeth Again, make as many teeth as you want, as sharp as you want, as long as you want. And then we're going to draw in the nostril. The inking part's the easy part because uh, you've got the drawing pretty much in already. You're just sort of following your lines. All right, now the bottom of the eye line. And then make that nice curve for the, for the eye. And then we have another curve for the pupil. Then we ink that reflection section in, but we're going to leave that white and we're going to draw ink in the rest of the eye and make it black. So I was reading up on baby T-Rexes just a little while ago, and um, apparently scientists have not found any T-Rex eggs yet. From what I was reading so they've got other types of dinosaur eggs but apparently no t-rex eggs yet so t-rex was pretty large do you think you know how big the eggs were for the t-rex well even the largest dinosaurs no matter how large the dinosaurs were the largest dinosaur eggs were about the size of a football so keep that in mind that all dinosaurs started out pretty small, no matter how big they grew later on. All right, we're inking in the toes now, just following those shapes. Now we don't follow all the pencil lines around. There's points where we quit. So like where the we don't draw through the leg and we're just gonna draw right the, belly, the front of the belly there, we're going to stop. We're not going to continue that line on where it keeps going around. All right, the back of the leg. And then the front of the leg. And then the bottom of the foot. There's going to be a surprise right at the end of this particular drawing so we got to stay tuned and find out what that surprise is we're going to make a, a bit of a scene here with this t-rex it's not going to be just a drawing of a t-rex there's going to be a little bit more more to it than that so so i hope you stick around for the end of this drawing in those knees baby t-rex knees draw on the arms and then the two claws for the T-Rex. And 
one thing that I see lots of drawings these days with uh, baby T-Rexes in particular, paintings and drawings that scientists like to, uh, evolutionary scientists like to say that baby T-Rex had feathers. And um, if you look at the, what the Bible says, the T-Rex was created, it was a land animal, and birds and flying creatures and swimming creatures, all the sea creatures, were created on day five. T-Rex being a land animal would have been on day six. So I don't put feathers on my dinosaurs. Now you can decorate your dinosaur any way you want. I put some dots on them, some spots. So I think that would be fun. If you want to put some stripes on them, feel free to do that. I'll leave that up to you. Okay, now we're going to put a shadow underneath the T-Rex. So we're putting in the final details now. And uh, this is going to help us see that, okay, the T-Rex is on the ground, or that one foot is almost on the ground. You can see it's above the ground. And we're going to draw in, I think he's kind of walking down sort of a trail. And so then there's some plants on the other side. So he's walking on the dirt. We can draw some squiggly lines indicating some kind of grass or, or some kind of plant. plants on the other side. So those are the ones closest to the T-Rex. Now we're going to draw some ones, some lines higher up, make these squiggly. You don't have to make these lines exactly like I make them. Just draw your squiggly plant lines how you draw them. Now we didn't pencil in these, so just feel free to do the lines as you want to, to draw them. Now we're going to draw a little palm tree. So this one's going to have five big leaves. One, two, three, four five kind of a kind of a droopy starfish <laughs> except this one's got uh, a tree trunk so we're going to draw the palm tree trunk in there and then we're going to go to the sky we're going to draw some clouds and uh maybe another another cloud right there and you feel free to make the clouds as you want them too you can be bigger or smaller or maybe uh, a big one or a small one and then we're going to do some we're going to add some birds too, or these could be, could be pteranodons, I guess, but so either one. So now that we've finished our scene, well, it's almost finished. Now we're going to put in the final, final detail. And for this detail, we're going to reference Genesis 1, 24 through 31. And I want you to try to, th try to guess what this little detail is. What is T-Rex? He's looking at this thing on the ground. And um, what could it be? And now you're going to get more information here and it's going to kind of become plain to you what that is. Those are little toe marks. That's a footprint. What kind of a footprint is that? <laughs> that is a human footprint. So... For my little story here, I think that could be Adam's footprint. Because, again, T-Rex was made on the same day as Adam and Eve. On day six. So, so you make it whose footprint you want it to be. It could be Adam's or it could be Eve's footprint. So there's our finished scene. With a little extra added bonus detail at the end. A very different scene than you'll see in, um, you know, textbooks or any other book that you would buy in a, in a bookstore. Pretty much, um, you know, if you go to the mall or whatever. But this one is a a Christian dinosaur scene. Again, acknowledging that the Bible's true, and Adam and Eve were created along with the land, all the land animals, which included dinosaurs, which T Rex would have been one of them. And so there it is, how to draw a baby T-Rex. Well, I hope you enjoyed this drawing of the T-Rex. And um, for future animals, you can make requests and let me know which animal you want me to draw next. And um, I'll put that in my list of animals to draw next for Know It and Draw It. Thanks for joining us for this feature. I'll see you again. See you later.